forklifts and all-powered industrial trucks seem easy to operate, but watch out, you could be in violation. Hi there, I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief. This is where we talk about health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites. Since they know how to drive a car, workers often think they can easily run a forklift. But OSHA cites companies so often, forklift safety violations are always in the annual top 10 list of citations. Avoid making these common forklift mistakes and you may save a worker from injury or death. Violation? No training. Haven't received guidance? Don't operate a forklift. An evaluation should happen with every worker every three years. Violation? No pre-operation inspection. Before each use, do a quick visual on forks, tires, fluids, battery, the mirrors, lights. Make sure that everything looks normal. Violation? Driving with an elevated load. The load needs to be as low as possible to stop things from falling and injuring people in the area. Violation, driving too fast. A warehouse isn't a highway, even if your flooring has marked traffic lanes. Use caution, slow down at intersections, and watch for pedestrians. Violation, driving too close to platform edges. This is pretty self-explanatory. A crashed forklift can be deadly, so be careful. Violation, not following procedures around loading docks. Make sure to secure trailers that will be loaded or unloaded. Use wheel chocks. Take weather into consideration. Watch out for rain or ice on the driving surface. Violation, using a defective truck. If you see a problem with a forklift, don't keep using it. Make sure that maintenance is performed. That's it for this episode on the top forklift safety violations. Come back for more tips and techniques on how to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, sponsored by Creative Safety Supply. See the website at creativesafetysupply.com.